And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio Death World. All right, so in this episode, I'm not 100% sure what we want to tackle. Uh, I moved the tree farm. We need a little bit of space over here, so I moved the tree farm. I want to continue that wall. Once this really risky area over here is protected... And by protected, I mean not only there are turrets, but there are also, you know, some supply going on up there. Uh, I want to then focus on, you know, expanding copper a bit, getting our science sort of automated. I've got some more science down here. got some more labs built. Uh, I, cr I uh, researched the crafting speed bonus, so that should help us quite a bit in the interim here trying to get all of this stuff crafted i have extended this down here however we we have been getting attacks down here um so i've brought down the turrets and brought the ammo down to sort of prevent that i do have one turret over here we were getting attacked down in this little corner down here so I'm just trying to get the base defended before we focus on further production because we are not in a place, look at, if we look at our pollution here, we're starting to get into other bases and this huge base up here is a big, big concern. Um, you can see the scanner has done quite a bit of scanning around I mean these bases are just monstrous and I mean you can see all the biters moving around up here and it is very very dangerous so I want to get this area as you know defended as I possibly can get it before I focus on <sighs> building up Bob's mods, which is quite the chore. Get some more. I'm trying to build up some red science packs. So let's knock out some of the just red only science. So something like optics shouldn't take too long. I've got, you know, 20 or so packs in each one of these so we definitely want to knock out steel and let's knock out electronics and continue the wall with the autofill it's automatically putting three um, three in there for me however three won't be enough if we get attacked not even close so gun sniper gun so we're starting to get defended here so with this space we have enough for quite a few more steam uh, boilers and then we have a whole room for another stack and then probably two more stacks after that plenty of room for more production or you know power production so the electronics got done electronic assembly machine I definitely want to use some of these this time they craft pretty fast Solar is not going to be possible yet. All these with oil we're quite a far away from yet. Sniper turret. These would be nice to build up. Military I want to knock out. We're going to need a lot of steel production for the piercing round ammo when that does finally hit it will be very nice just cutting down some trees hopefully I don't get too big of an attack coming at me 
How far up do we want to go? I don't want to push it too far. So sniper turret again, gun, sniper, gun. So you can see there were there were some biters wandering the woods. Let me get some more gun turrets. So many trees. Okay, so sniper, gun, sniper, gun. And I really only need to supply one of these with ammo because then I can use the, you know, I can go in between like this and just go all the way up and that way the ammo will, the ammo will be delivered and plus eventually have the stack size bonus on there. So that'll be nice. All right, getting really dangerously close. Gun, sniper, and of course I don't have space for that one. Gun, Let's see, getting close to where we want to build out here. So let's clear a space. Oh, I am out of my tool. I'm looking forward to having the, the better axes. Oh, that comes pretty late in the game. Just insta-kill everything. Okay. Uh-oh. That is why I want to make sure that we have plenty of ammo coming up here. It takes quite a bit of ammo to uh, to kill these things with these lower lower rounds. So I want sniper. Of course, one last tree. And gun will finish it off. But we have to offset it. Like, right here should be fine. So now we're low on ammo. One thing I can do is I can set up a chest like this, dump a whole bunch of ammo in it, and then we're gonna need every square having a having coverage. Really? Yeah. Two of these. And then we're going to need a bunch of inserters, which I don't have because I am out of copper. This is why I wanted more copper. So there's only 50 copper in there, which is not. And I need iron. Luckily, we got plenty of iron. So with this, <coughs> I have supply, 
and then I can do this and it will supply all of these with ammo like that. We got a big attack up here. And I just need to connect it to the power and it should be good. There we go. Kind of fills it, you know, it'll fill back to, you know, once they're all, once they've all got enough in them, then they'll start backing up. It's going to be 10 each, so we're going to want a lot of ammo in that box for now. So let's run down here, grab some ammo. We've got plenty of it down here. Five in there, four in there. I thought I put... I gotta put a bunch in there. Put just a bunch of ammo in there. Make sure we're not gonna run out. Yeah, it'll fill its once they're all full, then it will only just fill kind of keep the keep the ones that get attacked. Keep those and these are probably running low. Oh, those are doing pretty good. I, I put a bunch more in there, so. It should fill up. They like to put 10 in, so once it has 10, it'll stop. All right, with that line up there defended, I think we are pretty good as far as defendability. So let's just kickstart a bunch of production. Yeah, I've got a lot of iron on me right now. Getting a lot of airplanes up overhead. So military finished. I want to do military too, but that that's going to be a ways off. Do I have 50? I sh think I have 50. Damage or shooting speed? Or should we look at something else? Alloys. Automation 2 gives us the faster assembler. That allows us to auto-craft the green science packs. Circuit network we're not really worried about right now. Solar energy we don't have yet. Steel furnaces would be nice. Mining drills too. Those require steel, so not quite yet. Pumps would be good. Let's do bullet damage. Got quite a few more in here, but I want to hold on to those for now. Okay, copper. I've got the smelters ready to go. All those take forever. Come on. There we go. Okay, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, something like here. So if I have copper running into here, Put our smelters <coughs> sort of in here. Like 
that coal can come right up here and eventually go right in there. Okay, so we've got Uh, let's see, I've made them already. There's only... That'll do. Coal will come up right here. I'll split that off, combine it up. Now I need a bunch of inserters. <clears throat> oh, I've got this tickle in my throat that won't go away. Okay, so I need 10 long handed. I did research the crafting speed just so we can not spend so much time waiting around for stuff to craft. Like that. And And this is really close to being done. Got an even hundred of these now. Awesome. Do they stack to 200? Yep, they must stack to 200. Let's get a splitter in there, getting ready for the... the big unveil here. Oh, I always do that. I always kind of shift my mouse over one. Okay, so the copper. Let's put some copper plate in there. And I'm able to plop that down. And let's get everything powered. Probably not enough power to really power all of this, especially with these added miners. There we go. Bunch more copper is being made now, which is good for us. This is really protected down here, so I'm confident about that. Where the, the whole turret thing, that was really where our copper was running dry. So I really needed more copper in order to be able to fully defend our area. Because we just didn't have enough to craft all the... We have plenty of iron, but the copper for the turrets were pretty bad. Did I put a limit? I didn't put a limit on this. Okay. Lots of action going on up here. Look at them all. I'm definitely going to want to defend this a little bit better up here. This corner is going to be attacked quite a bit. It is very close to a base. Is there a gap in between there? There is. Okay. So yeah, I want to get all of this protected. Not sure how I'm going to handle 
these little deposits. I might just mine it into a chest and then manually move it over for wherever our production is going to be for those. It's because the rest of the material is going to be coming in on train for all those other materials. So it's like, I don't really don't want to uh, push my luck there. Wow, we... Oh, I ran out by probably, yeah, just a little, just a little bit. There we go. Bullet damage to, so now we got a bunch more. Shotgun, I'm not worried about. Let's get some of these bob's stuff out of the way i'll research those in between episodes but that'll do it for this one so thank you for watching and i will see you next time